Hello guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this as an example here. This is my Mavic Air. Apparently I'm still waiting for my Mavic Mini. Well anyway, I'm just gonna go and explain to you guys here. Do you really need obstacle avoidance on a Mavic Mini? You really don't need it because it's a small anyway. And if you're like me, like right now I'm in the open water and I just wanna get the best view that I wanna get. And I'm basically just shutting off the obstacle avoidance on my Mavic Air here. And I'm just riding down the coast and go long range. And you already can see this thing can fly up there. I mean, it can go way up there. I mean, this is just a Mavic Air as an example. This is 27K camera, raw footage. I'm not shooting any um, modification here. This is just auto. You guys can see there is no indie filter here. I was just rushing. <laughs> I got so many activities to do, I don't got no time to look for my filter. So I just brush up there and put on my Mavic Air and throw it up in the air. <laughs> but I'm still surprised what footage you can get on this Mavic Air. And like I said, um, you know, obstacle avoidance is, if you just know how to fly your drone and you're just being smart about it, be cautious, it was not happen to you. You know, just make sure you're not open. You know, if you're in an open area, you just, like, if you're not too sure, you're going to have a lot of flight time. Just remember, just put in a slow mode. Like, see, the Mavic Air has a tripod mode, and you can see, you can, from the building, you can measure how much you need to go up high or anything like that. So you can see exactly. And yes, you're good to go. So, all right, guys, I'm going to do a long-range close-up. Um, this video here is actually like 17 or 18 minutes so I just shrink it down to like six minutes I did like a little fast forward to it so <laughs> so um, the reason why I did this because I just want to go ahead and show you guys what you can do you know for 16 17 minutes flight time and it's a 27k camera here in a Mavic Air I'm just showing this an example because like I said I'm still waiting for my Mavic Mini but the footage you're gonna get is basically the same the dynamic range pretty much the same also the video quality I'm of course I'm using a 27k with a raw footage um, out of here that I'm using so yes um, it's pretty much stock so I'm pretty sure the Mavic Mini is gonna be the same way but I'm just flying around here in this area so um, do you really need obstacle avoidance? That's the thing, I mean, the Mavic Mini is tiny. You don't really need to, if you know what you're doing, like, again, like what I'm doing here, you'd be fine, like, sorry guys, I'm gonna close up, I got friends there. <laughs> and they probably saw my drone, so anyway, I'm just flying around this area here, and you guys can see the submarine. I think this is like 1942 submarine that, that actually like, broke down or something or got blown up but anyway um, but you can see the Mavic Air what you can capture it I mean I don't have no in the filter here everything that you see is just auto video but yes it's pretty decent for 27k footage I think um, yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and basically flying around here and I mean you can see you can almost see under the water with this 27k camera and I'm above probably like what maybe 100 feet up maybe the two maybe like a 200 or 250 so anyway guys I'm not really regretting the Mavic Air I mean it fly what it's supposed to um, the flight time on this one is basically supposed to be 21 but of course in real time you're only gonna get 16 17 minutes out of it you know depending depending how you're how far you are and what's the wind condition on but you can see here the mavic air and this is it's pretty windy i mean you can see how the footage is rock solid how the gimbal um capture this calamaran or you can see a sailboat um, I'm pretty much just watching my surrounding because I'm not using obstacle avoidance. I mean, you can see in the dynamic range here, you can you can actually see everything. I mean, 
do you really need to go low and shoot really low? I mean, you can take your time and go around. Look at the, the video that you need to do. I mean, that's, that's the most important thing, right? I mean, you, it's a drone. You're capturing from the above, you know? So that's what I'm doing here right now. I'm just capturing everything that I can, but you can see the rock solid footage with the Mavic Air. Um, a lot of people complain about because it's not enough battery life, but to be honest with you, I'm pretty happy with the battery life. And, I mean, you could do more if you put your mind into it. I mean, if, like, see what I'm doing here, I'm just using one battery for all this flight time you can see what I can do for for uh, one battery so some people out there might need two or three batteries to get it done but for me it's enough I mean you know like do I really need to take that much you know video footage I mean I'm just getting the stuff that I need so I can go ahead and do editing and I'm just showing you guys here what I've been doing, <laughs> running, running around, flying around, you can say it, or just, and I'm, I'm just surprised what I can do with this Mavic Air, you know, I can get the footage that I need for one battery, with the Mavic Mini, that's even better, I mean, you get 30 minutes, and I'm not saying full 30 minutes, but you know five minutes would help especially in the long range especially when the windy condition you know a five minutes more would help even a three minutes would help I mean a three minutes flight time can get me from here all the way to that beach way out there yes and the Wi-Fi is still good signal I still have good feedback from my drone from my Mavic Air and I'm at the beach, so a lot of people in that area have cell phones, they're probably in their Wi-Fi, they're probably in their, um, name it, you know, <laughs> tons of whatever they're doing. And I'm over here flying my drone way out here, and I still get a video feed from my Mavic Air. And, yeah, I mean, I was gonna go ahead and, like, uh, go back and return this to... To where I'm at and go back and capture it again now but I'm just surprised even though this Mavic has limited itself it can still do the stuff if you not saying force it to but it can still get out there and you can see I'm pretty far and I can still get the footage that I need anyway guys this is one battery. Look at what I can capture it in for one battery. So um, yeah, and it's 27K camera that I'm shooting right now, raw footage. And again, guys, I just can't wait to get this mini and go with you guys for a bit more. But anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and share.